We begin tonight with a grassroots effort to fight the controversial stormwater runoff fee in Luzerne County that's ramping up. The fee has led to confusion, frustration, and in many cases, downright anger. Many area residents claim it's unfair and illegal. Eyewitness News lead I team reporter Andy Mahalshik is live in Hanover Township with the latest chapter in this ongoing controversy. Andy. Well, good afternoon, Mark. We're standing outside the Wyoming Valley Sanitary Authority offices here in Hanover Township. This is the local agency that is overseeing that federally mandated fee. And quite frankly, many are calling this a David versus Goliath fight. But the organizers of the opposition tell me they're confident they will win this fight. We are the little guy, but people forget their power. In numbers, we can do anything. It's been proven in history. And that's why the group called No Rain Tax is placing these signs throughout the back mountain of Luzerne County. They are trying to raise money to file a lawsuit to fight that fee. The fee is supposed to pay for projects that will help keep our waterways clean, namely area rivers and streams that lead into the Chesapeake Bay. But the fees have caused sticker shock for many people. Michael Salvati has protest signs at his wiener shop in Dallas. They are fast movers. Everybody's mad. Everybody, it's a double tax. They're, I, I don't know. They just, they don't want to pay any more taxes. We get taxed. If we saw results from our money, it might be a different story. Rich Manta and Mike Stash are posting signs in as many locations as they can to get the word out about fundraising efforts to file a lawsuit against. The Wyoming Valley Sanitary Authority, which is overseeing the federally mandated fee. Are you going to buy medicine for your senior citizen or are you going to pay for your rainwater tax? The science behind this whole mandate is very sketchy. And, and so we have issues throughout this whole problem. Marion DeAngelis is spearheading that lawsuit effort. We found an attorney who is willing, able, and ready to fight this, has the power has everything she needs to move forward. We just need the funds to go to court. It's that simple. Now, a spokesperson for the Valley Sanitary Authority tells me that the No Rain Tax Group has not offered up any options, any alternatives to meet that federal mandate. So they will continue to work with 32 member communities to meet that federal mandate. Reporting in Hanover Township, Luzerne County, Andy Mahal, Chicago Witness News. Mark, back to you. Andy, thanks for that. The No Rain Tax Group has raised so far about $14,000 toward the lawsuit fund. The group says it needs at least $45,000 to file the lawsuit. The federal mandate affects just about every community in the state. This lawsuit, if successful, could impact each of those communities.